Who loves you the way? Keep singing, bro. I can't sing Shamalama Ding Dong to this. Mind if we dance with your dates? Bro, get yes. your hair out of my face. Ooh. Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome. Buenvenidos. De los beer, beer Googlers. That one. Beer Googlers how, de cervezas. How, what is it? Tres. Tres. West Side? No. Double E, double O, double G? Yes, sir. <laughs> double E, double O, double G, everybody. All that stuff. So we just got out of a heated conversation. On our knocked conscious minds. And a cigar. Two two hours? Two plus hours? We're, <sighs> we're fucking nuts. I need we're a knucking nap. futs. Fucking we nuts. Oh, shoots. We are knucking futs at times. And we are now going to have some fun, though. Yay! Today. What are we talking about today, my friend, Mr. Woodsy? Today's conversation discusses if you were allowed dose superpowers, what would they be? A dose of superpowers? Two superpowers. I'm just kidding. A dosage friend. of two superpowers. A dosage of two. Okay. That's took, an interesting one. I took many surveys. Sur- and cervezas. And cervezas also, Tamian. And uh, this uh, that, special question was brought to us by our newly promoted senior executive producer, the, the, the lovely Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Um, I'm hoping. Yay! Yes. Got the right one. Mary, thank you for this. Yes, we're we're ever star. grateful. And congratulations on the promotion. Yeah. I wasn't even aware. Yeah, I took a liberty to promote her to senior executive producer. I like senior executive producer, Mary. It's fantastical. S-E-P-M. All that stuff. Sepum. <laughs> <laughs> However, there is a housekeeping rule regarding the superpowers. Okay. A vampire is not a superpower. Okay. Who who said it was? I, I, I thought fucking some... world, On what world do we live that vampirism is a superpower? Van- oh, my dear Jesus. So I thought somebody might have chosen vampire. So I just wanted to make it clear that that cannot be a choice. Correct. Okay. Nor can batman them. <laughs> well, like being rich isn't he's a superpower. Right. He's a dude. He's a superhero but, per se, but he doesn't have superpowers to your point. C- correct. He, Iron Man and Batman are just rich. Yeah, and right. Smart, and they can Iron fight. Man does not have superpowers. No, correct. but either a vampire is not a superpower. No, that's just an undead person that lives in the dark. Want to suck your cock? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you, Gilbert. Because obviously, that if uh, I would be a vampire in a second, if they'd sign me up for that shit, yeah, live forever, live in the dark, and no I, son, you can't golf, bro. Uh, uh, night golf, golden dark balls. <laughs> balls what if your balls did glow in the dark um i then i would not be good in a strip club the only hunger for blood like let's okay let's hash this this alleged air quoted superpower out of the way let's sure. let's knock it the fuck out of the park f it okay vampirism sure so someone someone bites you and turns you into one because you have to get it that way right yes sir correct so now you've you've got a little bit more strength you don't like garlic anymore. You can't fucking go to an Italian restaurant. You can't eat, period. So that would, that's the you worst. You can't eat? No, vampires don't eat. They, don't, they, they just eat, suck blood? They only eat blood. Only drink blood. God They damn, have to man. have blood to survive, but they don't eat. Can you have an in and out in between, like, sucking blood? Your last meal, which Can I get is, a double-double Is a double-double animal style. Four by four animal style. So you don't eat anymore. I didn't know you didn't eat. Yeah, haven't I, you seen any vampire movie ever? Don't they ever, like, indulge in wine and food? No, blood. Drink? Okay. No, just blood. Oh, that's not wine. <laughs> I'll take the red. Literally. And the white blood cells. Mm. Mm, these white platelets are delicious. I didn't know they didn't eat. So fuck that. You don't get to taste food. Yeah, okay. So everything about being a vampire in the first place is wrong. It's rad. No, you don't get to eat. Correct. Okay, you're okay with that. Yes, sir. How? You live forever. How are you okay with not eating? Because tasting for you and I, let's yeah, not I know, ourselves. I get it. No, I understand the downside is rough because I love Doritos and steaks and donuts Dude, and chimichangas. 
you don't die. You live an eternity of not tasting food for the rest I, of I know, eternity. But I get to fly around. How do you fly? That's a horseshit thing. You turn into a bat? Yeah. I literally turn, become okay, Batman. Let's not kid ourselves about flying. You turn into a bat, which is capable of flight. Correct. It's not exactly like the power of flight. It, if they, if a bat has the power of flight, you just contradicted yourself. Okay. Kind of like when I said there's no such thing as bad luck, but there is bad luck, but different. Sure. I just contradict. I, I'm out. You got nothing? However, uh, our senior executive producer, Mary, last night did have a point of clarification regarding my desire to be a vampire. She goes, you can't even have a conversation about blood and you're going to drink it? <laughs> she was talking to me about somebody's surgery. And I was like, oh, God, stop talking. So you get a little squeamish. And I go, yeah, I do. I can't talk about it. I can't, we've, I can't watch surgery on TV and shit. She goes, see, so you're going to have a problem with this vampire thing. I go, well, maybe, Mary, maybe I can learn to love it. You know? Ooh, like an acquired taste, yeah. like lobster. Yeah, yeah, or scotch. I don't know. Oh, scotch. I go, maybe I can make a sangria out of it. I don't know. I you know, ease into it a little bit. She goes, oh, you can make a Bloody Mary. I'm like, yeah, see? Bloody that, like, Mary. You <laughs> get Mixers. it? Mixers. Hello. <laughs> like, see what I'm saying? Yes, exactly. One part simple syrup, one part real blood. Mm, Typo delicious. negative, all that shit. Yes. So, that's, okay, so. that's the vampire clause, sir. And can we, is werewolf then also not a superpower? We didn't go down that road. Well, let's lump that in. Werewolfism? Yes, and also not. Also, vampirism, werewolfism, uh, Bruce Wayneism? No. Batmanism? No. And Ironmanism are not superpowers. Next. Now, there are some like Brainiac is a superpower because he's just highly intelligent. But he's from a different planet. Right, but it's still a superpower. Like super brain? That'd be kind of superpowery, And Tony Stark's borderline, but he's not that advanced. Well, he's not Brainiac. Yeah, he's not Brainiac. And that's a computer, isn't it? So is super intelligence a power? I believe if it gives you an advantage over the normal brained people, that would be a superpower. I, I would allow that. What, Thank you. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, okay. It may be one Thank of God my two. Thank God nobody picked that on the list. Maybe. I, I'm still teasing. Maybe. What are you, what is with the sounds, dude? Making to, uh, making LL Cool J lip sounds. <laughs> LL Cool check mark. Yeah, yeah. Stop it, girl. I don't know. Hey, that girl. Like <laughs> Milky cereal. Uh, because my mama said knock you out. Okay, so anything else on the creatures of the night? Okay, so <laughs> any creature of any night should not be a superpower. Okay, so I, superpowers would be something that is atypical. To the creature in its natural form. To any human being. Right. It would be a homo sapien. So, uh, obviously, the superpower would be for a homo sapien because it's for you. So it's It would be personal. for us. Right. All of us. Right. Yeah. So, it would be anything that homo sapiens don't do naturally. Correct. So, running fast may be a superpower. Like Flash. Out of the ordinary. That's definitely superpower. I would concur. You know, yes. running, running like a Kenyan in a marathon. That's just really amazing. That's it's not impressive. a superpower. No, that's but it's Kenyan. impressive. It's impressive. Though. It is. Yes. Just saying. Thank you. Okay. Ricky Schroeder's thumb. <laughs> is Ricky Schroeder's thumb its own superpower? Uh, yeah. He Cause it unlocks, it unlocks doors. It is. When yeah. It again. Okay. So it's a really little superpower. <laughs> now we're going to get into what superpower and why, and you start bringing them, bro. I'm going to not, I'm going to tear these fuckers uh, down. Here we go, dude. I have many, many survey results. I love these. I love our survey. Oh, I'm going to save mine for the end, okay? Yes. Just and there's like a we really, do. really good one that I think by, by Mr. Steve Miller, I'm going to save that one for the end, too. Okay. And I've got them at the end also. Okay. They're not good at all. Mine suck also tambien. Sweet. Tam well, mine doesn't turn my hands into tambourines. 37 tambourines. tambourines. <laughs> so you're like a weird wolverine. <laughs> So you're oh, your own band. Your Wolverine hands? Yes. Or your tambourine, tambourine hands? hands? Bob Dylan comes out. Him and Don't, the tambourine no, no, hands. No, no, no. Bob Dylan hey, sucks hell, so me. bad. Shut up. You know who's worse than Bob, Bob Dylan? Dylan? Volbeat. Wow. <laughs> I'm so glad you changed your at. My Twitter handle? Yes. My tweeter? I felt uncomfortable every time. I know you did. Hey, at fuck Volbeat. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Hey, at fuck Volbeat. We're popular now. Hey, at fuck Volbeat. How many times can I say at fuck Volbeat before people Stop start okay. unfollowing okay. us? Okay, I'm, I'm uh, sorry. 
And you're welcome. And you are well. Thank you. You're namaste. Uh, I apologize. You don't need to apologize. Namaste. Also, I look. I still did it because I. It was your expression. It's who you wanted to be. I don't have to explain my art to you, check mark. You don't. No. Why? Why are you the glue quarters on the carpet then? Because it was fun. Is your art? Yes. I show you my fart then. No. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Numero uno. Okay, first people. Are these Georgia people first? Starting with the Georgia time? boys. The George, the GBs. Are we going to have like, is it going to be like Proud Boys or like they're going to be the Georgia boys? No, they're like the guys from the Outsiders. Georgia boys. Yeah. Are they the good old boys? They are. No, they're not. Never they're, meant, they're, no they're harm? Like, they're not the greasers. Vital, they're the greasers, not the, what's the other ones? The, what the, the Jets and the Sharks? Yes. Yeah. No. What's It was the greasers and the what's? Montague's and the Capulets. No, from the Outsiders. I don't remember, but I do remember Steve Gutenberg and Nicky Rourke. Golden Pony Boy, right? Steve Gutenberg. No, no. that's Diner. I Move get along. Diner and Outline. You need to watch Outsiders, dude. Yeah, we should watch that. Stay Golden Pony Boy. Can we? Can we do that? Yes. Uh, okay. Cool. Let's talk about things that we'll never do. Okay. New number, number one. Number one for Georgia boys. Time travel. Back and forth. Yes, that's what time travel is. That's not true. It could be. I can go back. A day, up to a day. Okay, or, time travel without a DeLorean. So you can go forwards and backwards. You can go in time. anywhere you want in time, all the time, okay. anytime. Okay, so we're going to just laws of physics go out the fucking window. Yeah, you have the ability to time travel. Okay, that's a super. That's have you watched the Umbrella Academy? I, that is a phenomenal show. One of Did those, I not tell you to watch that? I'm on season one, so shut the fuck up, bro, 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 bro. I'm, you know, it's funny. Yes. Like Ellen Page is too plain Jane for Which me. Which one's I, Ellen I'm, Page? Number the, seven? The quiet one, the nice one that's friendly. Well, at least, well, she's friendly now. Yeah. I, she just got her powers on the episode I'm okay. on. So shut up. So what I'm saying is, though, she's just too mousy and plain Jane. Like, and I know that's kind of who she's supposed to be, but I, she, I don't, she doesn't move the needle for me. Why? Even in Juno, she wasn't there. Why did you even bring her up? Because you mentioned Umbrella Academy, bro. Yeah, because the little boy can time travel. I know he can. But I was... <laughs> this show is fucking called Tangents, my friend. Not net. So, of course we're going to go to Tangent. Because that show is great. I'm sorry I didn't tell you to watch it, but watch that. It's good. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm watching it. I like the guy who can talk to the dead a lot. By he is by far my favorite character. Can we do this? Yes, can absolutely. We do, can we break it down? Let's watch both. Let's wait till you're done, and then we'll do a podcast on it. Okay. Because it's a fun one. It's, yeah. That's a good one. I like that show a lot. Yeah. It deserves attention. Detention. D- yeah, all of them. Two weeks. Uh, <laughs> do you want to make it three? So, no. I crossed streams again you or did. something. I carried it over. It's a carryover. Whatever it takes. Okay, so. Time travel. M- time travel. Uh, a limitless amount of time forward and backward? Yeah. Okay. Let's just say you have to stay on the planet. Okay, so I would say that's my billion. only stipulation. Okay, but like where it's cooled off, obviously, because you wouldn't survive if you went back too far. Well, so time. Yeah, let's say you could go to Pangea. Well, time travel at your location. No, has, you can. So you can distance and time travel. Yes, that's a double superpower. Okay, so, so what? So what? You can only time time travel should only include to your location exactly where you are. Okay. in a different time. So if I wanted to go to Russia, I'd have to take a plane, then time travel to that place. Correct. Then time travel back, then take a plane back to New York. Correct. Or if you if you're going to the future, oh. I would actually time travel first, then take the flight over because it's probably shorter because it's very smart, more technology. And like you got to take a slow boat then, right? You don't want to go back in time to Russia and then take a slow boat to China. Right. That's bad. Fuck that. Cause then <laughs> now you wasted all that other time. Well, but then you can get it back. Well, you never really lost it, but yes. you do live that time that you are not time traveling. Yes. That is a linear part of your existence. I would assume. Correct. Yeah. So that'd be interesting. I, I do, but it has to be in the spot. So if you pick the wrong time, you might be in the middle of a wildfire right where you are standing at that time. Yeah, that's very, a, then you got to time careful. travel the heck out of there super fast. Really fast, while you're still on fire, probably. Hopefully you're not on fire. Yeah, or wear a hazmat. So, okay. Or, but yeah, but that also that could be at the bottom of the ocean too. Yes. Or dinosaurs. Question. Or, yeah. Ooh. Yes. Uh, mm, Check mm, mark. Uh, uh, oh, oh, sir. Uh, Jason. So, so I time travel. What does, can... I only time travel, or does my clothes with me time travel? Your clothes also go. 
I don't like this. What, you want to be naked? I believe all superpower are only for individual, not for accessories. All of your accessories go. I don't agree. But, okay. (laughs) I don't think, I think that you should fucking, you should Schwarzenegger it. Every time travel movie that you've ever seen. Has naked people. Except for Terminator. And Terminator 2. Except for the Terminator. Terminator 3. Movies. (laughs) Why you? (laughs) Why do you have to be the Terminator advocate? Sorry. You're not I check Mark. You're not sorry at all. I like Mr. Schwarzenegger. Mark He's of good check. Guy. He's black black. But <laughs> Okay, so are oh, can we add a caveat then? We already added one. Well, no. So well no vampirism, no wolf. No, no wolf the fucking time travel one, right. dipshit. shit. But time travel has to be in the place that you are standing. I don't it like has that. to be. But then it's no longer it's no longer a single superpower. The ability to move forward and backward in time does not negate space. We are not talking about moving in space time. We are literally talking, talking about, about time. time travel. That negate the space part must be fixed then at that if we're going to do it that way. God, I hate you. Now, you can blow both your superpower load and say I can not only do time, but I can also do space travel. So I can travel in time, but then then you've used I both understand. your superpowers. Yeah. I'm just saying. I think that's logical. Now I will get, I will concede that your superpower would create kind of an aura around you so that clothes and anything that's attached to you would be able to take, like you could carry a briefcase with you and take it with you. I'll look, it's kind of gray for me. I don't like that. I would say anything you're, you're wearing, like your or shoes, holding. something you're holding. That's what about a gun? Yeah. Or some, you know what? If you have, Time cop, but you're in a shuttle. You're actually in a vessel. Man, I haven't seen that in forever. That's a great movie. We need to watch again. That's a great movie. That's Ron Ron Silver. Doesn't that have a uh, the bad guys? That, in that? that has Gus Grissom in it. Gus Grissom, sure. Isn't the guy the main guy? The main character played Gus Grissom in the right stuff. Possibly Ron Silver. I don't know his name. Oh, I, Gus I, Grissom. Remember the arrival with Charlie Sheen? No. Oh, he's also a bad guy in that. I saw it, but you know, it's been forever. Good movies. These are all awesome. These are, we should just do movie recommendations today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so superpower one, invisible. Now, okay. So holding, what do you say? Holding or wearing? Cause holding and wearing to me are the same thing. I think it's an all or nothing thing. Cause it's, cause it's in your grip. Well, I'm going to say, because we're going to talk about another superpower. We talked about clothing on or clothing off and whether it would affect it. Yeah. So I'm trying to bridge that gap. I get you. You So dick. maybe it creates like an egg aura around you so that whatever's in that aura can time travel with you. So holding it is within the I grasp understand. of your thing. Yeah. And wearing, obviously. Okay. But not driving a car. You can't take a car back in time. What about a Vespa? It's too, too big. To Isuzu, you take a Barbie uh, power 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 wheels. Okay, the little tiny jeep. Yes. It's a jeep. It's my pink favorite. jeep. Yes, only the power wheels. Okay. Okay, so invisibility. What are your thoughts on that? We're not doing invisibility yet. I mean, for, uh, time travel. Time travel. God damn it! I gotta stop. I gotta lay off this shit. You, you the cigar we had? Yeah, that cigar really fucked me up. <laughs> you dipshit, dude. I'm buzzing, man. I don't smoke very much. And you keep it in your Cigars. head on the mic boom. I know. I keep. You got to scoot the chair or do something. Time travel. Yes. Not space travel. Go. go. Next. No. Well, what are your thoughts on that? No, I I'll, I'll, I will concede something in your hand as long as you are clothed. Okay. And not space. And not space Just travel. time. Just time. In the same spot. Okay. So if I time traveled from here 100 years ago, this house would not be here. Right. It'd probably be some brush or some whatever it, wood vegetation of some yeah, sort. So Possibly it's Arizona. Who knows? It could be just desert. It would probably still be hot. Fuck yeah. It, it, it was a hundred years ago, bro. There it was, was hot. scorpions and snakes. And it droves probably. And, yeah. a, and a javelina. <laughs> and an orange, maybe like an orange grove or something. Oh, that'd be nice. A citrus grove, maybe some avocado. Whatever avocado. Avocado. Oh, bro. Okay, so we got time travel. Moving along. Uh, what are there any cons to time travel? Well, if you mess up the time continuum, and right. you do something in the past, there is the butterfly effect. Okay. Are you afraid of the butterfly effect as a time traveler? Massively terrified of it. If you can continually move forward and backward in time, why would you ever be concerned about that in the first? I'm not. Place? I don't give a shit. 
I would be because what if you cause something that was nuclear fallout and then you go forward in time where there still is nuclear fallout? You get irradiated before you could time travel out of there. Well, then you need to get out of there fast. The other part is time travel doesn't work for me as a superpower because of this space issue. You'd have to do some really good research to know what was where you were when you want to go where you want to go. Because it's a when you want to go, right? I'm so pissed that he picked time travel. Why? Because this conversation's stupid. This is not, this is an intelligent conversation. <laughs> We're in France in yeah. 1789. Yeah. What, 400 years ago could have been a fucking Roman, middle of a Roman battlefield. That's a wrong fucking time to pick to go back. True. Just, that's my point. So there's cons. But Georgia boy, you go time travel away, bro. It was also my choice. Okay. Well, you, we didn't get there yet. I know, because he stole my choice. I didn't think anybody else would pick time travel. Why? That was one of the... Dude, that was the first... I didn't think of it until, like... You ooh. just did? No, but it took me a while. I'm like, oh, that's a good one. I'm going to put that down. And I then, have one I think it, you'll be surprised by. Oh, dear God. Yep. But, okay. Yeah. So, you're just upset. I, so I am very upset. Sour grapes? Very much so. Did you pick a second... One now yes. because they picked time travel? Yes. Well, why not keep it if you think it's so solid? But I think I destroyed it for you. I don't you think did. you would I'm like very it. upset. You could do time and space. Those could be your two, but okay. you can't do time. Okay. Only. Thank you. I think... <laughs> Wilbur? <laughs> Are we vol beating a dead horse? Vol beating a dead horse. I'm sorry, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I have I smoked a cigar during our break, and I am... It, is a strong stop it, was, it talk it's an ashton 898 everyone that's what i said that's your favorite yep it's the only one i smoke if if it's available if it's available thompsoncigars.com just look on there Thompson cigars. half price what if you buy a five pack it's half price fuck i'm going to thompsoncigars.com we need we need uh hello to the world we need advertisers thompson cigars would you like us to plug you that'll be we just did plug cents, you please how does that work i, I don't know. know dude if we might ever monetize this thing it'd be when when got it i'm working on it man next next so time travel alone georgia boy congratulations you get to stay in fucking georgia but anytime you want yeah but he can take a plane somewhere out of yeah. delta's hub sure next on his list was mental telepathy it's a good one it's a superpower for sure now Telepathy is what? Moving things? Telekinesis? Reading minds? Is it everything? I don't know. I want to re you rely on your expert opinion. I'd like to bifurcate that into multiple things. It's probably not bi. It's probably multiple. Trifurcate? Multifurcate? Polyfurcate? Polyfurcate, maybe? Um, you've got psychic ability. You've got telekinesis, which is moving things with your mind. You've got precognitive ability. These are all under that general umbrella, right? Would you agree? Sure. What would you cons consider their, like, reading minds? I'm not sure. See, now, what would be really cool is if he was pre- and post-cognitive as ability. If he could see the future or see the past and then, and then, travel, and then travel to where to he... see what's there. To where he saw it was safe. That would be a really cool combo. See, you should be like a time travel agent. <laughs> when would you like to go, sir? And then you could be like, oh, let me book your trip. Bong. Bong. Then, Hold on. Okay, you can't go nope. here because this There's is 400 years no, before. There was no. a bunch of Romans there. Don't go there. Oh, COVID happened. No. Nope. Don't go there. is not good. Yeah. No. Yeah, you don't, no, you don't want to. Yeah. Okay, that's a good. Yeah, okay. that's a good yep. year. You're, you're clear. <laughs> Boom. Pull, the, Pull the handle. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? So I. So his is telepathic powers? Mental, Mental telepathy. telepathy. Damn it. All right, can you talk a little bit about that? I'm uh, going to... You're going to beer Google, Google it? it? Yeah. Because I'm just going to get a standard... Because uh, well, I, I don't exactly know what telekinesis is. Oh, telekinesis is tele, right? It's oh, from a us distance. talking to each other? No, it's from a distance. Kinesis is moving things, being oh. able to manipulate. So like lifting up Luke Skywalker. Oh, the X-Wing that he couldn't lift up. Got it. Boulders, all that stuff. Boulders and shit. Yeah. Tele, which one was this one? No, again? mental Tele telepathy. telepathy. Okay. Just had to check it out, man. Tele telepathy. So basically, they have some of that. They can read minds. Telepathy is purported 
vicarious transmission of information from one person to another without using any known human sensory channels or physical interaction. So, so it's talking without it's your mouth. psychic ability. Yeah, it's psychic ability, both to send and receive signals to people and from That's people. not psychic ability. Yeah, psychic is reading minds. That's what telepathy is, is getting information from someone else or sending it to them through the mind. It's just information. See, when I hear psychic ability, I think about a the chick on the corner that she'll read your palm or your tarot cards for $59. Right, but they're not all psychics or some of them are Most just, of them are hacks. Well, some of them are just tarot readers. Some of them are palm readers. Yeah. A psychic medium, for example, you met Crystal. That's not necessarily a hack. R- right, but it's also a different type. She doesn't you the cards support her, but she do doesn't that. read right. palms. Yeah. Right? It's not like a science. Where Anthony's astrology, for example. Yeah. She doesn't use the stars to get the information. Yeah. Psychic to me is I can read your mind. Like I can tell your thoughts. I can also implant thoughts into your head. That's a pretty cool, it's a cool gift. I concur. I like it. So you can move forward in time, backward in time, as far as you want, but stay in the same spot and you can read minds and implant ideas. But if, You can inception somebody. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Impressive. Without having to be in a dream, in a dream, in a dream. You don't need that shit. You don't even, you don't even need a dream, bro. <laughs> Just do it. Just... <laughs> I, don't even, I didn't even do that one right. That was from South Park. That was very good. <laughs> very That's good. what I meant to do. There you go. Excellent. Anyway. All right. Georgia Boy 1. Here we go. Georgia Boy 2. The s- stupid invisibility. Son of a bitch. Same thing with the aura. We're going to do it covers them, right? Are we going to do clothed or not? Well, this same this would then affect space, time travel. I think the ability would then affect all all of these abilities where you're wearing clothes and they're not part of the ability. Like flight, you can wear clothes and fly, for example, right? Right. But these are ones that are not okay. The ability but every is outside movie of the clothes we've ever seen. Hollow Man was that with. Kevin LeBacon. Kevin Bacon's in Seven Degrees. Um, He wore clothes in it. Yeah, and then he took them off so he could be invisible. Right, that's what I'm saying. He had to take them off. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, sorry. Is that every movie we've ever seen, you had to be naked to be invisible. Right. So is that the rule we want to... There's that's the downside to it. Why would you want that power if you're naked as a dude and flopping around? Do we? I want, was wondering if you were going to bring up the f word. We were going to talk about floppage. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think we we're look if we're it, look if Seinfeld can talk about shrinkage. Yes, we can talk about floppage. Okay. I mean, w- there's only one way to do this, though. Is there a possibility that we could caveat the invisibility rule where cl- your clothes would disappear? Also, yes, we would call it that aura rule. Okay, where time travel in this egg shape around you, you kind of have this aura, your entire aura can travel. Right. Same thing with invisibility. Then we would say your invisibility is an aura that, that makes you impervious to, to visible sight. Uh, kind of like camouflage on the cars, on the James Bond cars, more, oh. more, it's more or a predator. Like, yes. a, but it, but it's a biological version of that, right? Like a chameleon. Yes. Would be a great, like a chameleon superpower. Oh but invisible. He wants to be predator. But you have to be naked. No, you don't. No, predator doesn't, but that's biolog- That's technological. It's not his natural ability. Oh, he's or, got the little wristband. Or her. Her predator. Uh, we, we've never, uh, it's a vagina mouth. We don't know what's in the, between the legs. That's true. We never knew if it was a male or female. Man, you one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. Pussy face. Is that what he says? He doesn't say pussy face. (laughs) You you got a face like a pussy. Pussy. Shut up. Yeah, I guess it's a chava. We're never having cigars again. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Okay. So invisibility, clothes or not? I don't like I don't like clothes, but I'll accept it if you want to do the aura thing, because then it would cover the time travel then too. So then anything you they sound hold, very defeated. I do. I just don't like that idea. I think that the person can be invisible, but anything they touch wouldn't become invisible. So why clothes wouldn't? It just doesn't make sense to me. And I would never want that because of the floppage factor. I got twig and berries hanging. Look, I got so really you don't heavy balls. Down this- I don't have. My- <laughs> 
Look, dude, I'm a I don't gr- want to talk about your heavy balls ever. I'm a grower, not a shower dude, in the top oh my part, God. but the bottom Mo- part. Shut up. Where's the dive button? <laughs> That's not a one, three, or five dive. <laughs> I have to add that to our. I don't. Notes. I'm gonna hit it 17 <laughs> times. <laughs> well, I only need to add it once. It's it's like it's bear, I'll hit all. Where's the clarinet thingy on there? <laughs> <laughs> Not one lesson. <laughs> Say Ferris. Okay, so we got to the. Third okay, let's super move on after invisibility. Minutes. Okay, twig and berries, you sick fucker. Your call. You call it. I accept. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder's thumb, for your input. no close. Okay, only way. Everything they hold is not invisible. Everything no they... clothes, extra floppage. Well, only because it's you and I. Mega we floppage. Got a lot. Oh, we got a lot down there to flop, bro. <laughs> Shut up. We, I'm helping you out, Shut man. Shut up. Being a single person. Shut now, the question is this, though. If you're, can you, is it like Sue Storm where you turn invisible and then reappear? I I don't I don't know. And her invisibility did cover her clothes. If you remember in Fantastic Four, she is one that did not have to get naked to be invisible. Oh, I don't I don't remember that at all. Remember Sue Storm, the girl, the woman. Is that Jessica Alba? Rod Reed, yep. Doctor Reed, Reed Richards, and Sue Storm. And that and was her Jonathan. power was invisibility. Yeah, she turned. She had like an energy thing, and it she could turn invisible was part of. Her I thing. don't remember that. And at her all. suit would turn invisible. Oh well, shit. So. But that was from like a radiate, you know, a radiation storm. But isn't yeah. that how we all get our superpowers, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, radiation. Unless storm. you're born son of Jarrell. Yes, son of Jarrell. Kel, no, son of Kal El is the son of Jarrell, though, right? Yes. Okay, thank God. I know I'm a geek. I just need to stay in the geek world. I yeah, need to stay you in can't that echo un-geek. chamber. Well, if I say, if I miss say a geek thing, you can be on the outs quickly. Oh, I, God forbid! You didn't think. What if you picked like well, who's the eighth Doctor Who? I don't Exa- know. You're out. I've never you're watched out. one at Doctor so, Who. You're out. What if you fail the Kobayashi Maru? The Co- <laughs> I knew you were going to bring that up, sir. <laughs> the fix, the fix. Lock Lock phasers, <laughs> fire, fire will. <laughs> Okay, after invisibility. <laughs> I can't believe you Kobayashi Maru this one right now. Well, you, we have not brought it up yet. I'm so sorry. I wanted to build up to the Kobayashi Maru. But you're welcome? Yeah, thank you. Okay. After invisibility. Health regeneration. That's uh, Wolverine-ish? Yeah, I didn't think about that, but yes. Because remember, the, the thing isn't about his bones breaking out of his body isn't necessarily the superpower. The superpower was his ability to regenerate. Remember, because they injected him with the animanum, and that process killed everyone. But his ability to regenerate didn't kill him. That's how he got to be who he got. Yes, sir. That is correct. So it's actually his regenerative ability. Not it's not like his blades were part of the regenerative ability. Yes, and he actually said that somebody asked him, "Does it hurt when they come out?" He says, "Every time." Every time. Yeah. Remember when they were just the bone? Ugh. That just looked nasty. Disgusting. Ugh. Terrible. Yeah. Health. What do you feel about that one? It's, I think it's awesome. And I didn't think one. about that. Does that mean you live forever then? Because your cells never die. Well. It's not a super. I mean, in a way, it's a side superpower. But effect. you can get your head cut off, right? Well, yeah, you can die. But you like, just said, can you live forever? Well, you can live forever in the fact that you don't have an accident that kills you, like takes your life. But, but what if you get beheaded? No, no, that one is an accident that would take your life. That's not health. If your head's severed from your body, you die before you can regenerate. I think we're both in agreement on okay, that. Okay, good. Highlander style. You cut off an arm. Is it going to be like Deadpool style? I or would is assume, it going to be... I don't know. That's a good point because he's not Deadpool. Right, because he cut his arm off. Does that mean it regrows or just that you he, you heal as in it heals over? Or if you get the arm and they reattach it, what, well, then it would heal. Would it heal? That would make sense. I, I don't. I don't you know. know. There's a, little nuances here. We're, these superpowers are a lot deeper than we thought, man. I like that. One. Well, the reason I say live forever is because having health regeneration, part of the death process is that our cells are not generated as quickly as they die. Yes, sir. That's old age. Well, with health regeneration, that would never be the case. So you would never age, never die. Yeah. Question is, do you acquire that? At adulthood, or do you acquire it as a child? If acquired as a child, if born with it, do you stay a baby forever? Do you actually grow 
and formulate into a human being and go through puberty and everything because you're basically just health regenerating all the time. Or do you experience that radiation storm when you're 22? Right. Is it fixed to the time that you acquire said skill? Yes. Said ability. Unless you watch the Wolverine What if you're a baby, movies? though? Because sometimes the way they work around in co- comics and things is they'll say, oh, well, it activates at puberty. So now he's an adult. Or she's an adult. And gotcha. then it just stays. So what are your thoughts on that? If you're born with it, are you a baby the rest of your life then? No. You can't even utilize the superpower. No. Okay. What age would be fixed? 26.6. So close to the marathon age. You're welcome. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good age to be. I wonder if you could choose your age. I wonder if you could man- like mentally regenerate down. Like if you wanted to play a child to to like pickpocket, and then you want to play like an old man to fool people. Oh, how cool! What, would that what be? superpower would you call that? That would just aging, age manipulation, or oh, oh genetic. How about like cellular manipulation? That's like the Benjamin Button. Yeah, almost. You could do it to yourself, though. Like, yeah. naturally. Oh, that'd be so fucking cool. Man, that's a new... Hold on. I like your penciling. It's very good. I just had to jot down a few notes. Yeah, good job. I don't have that sound effect in there. I had to make it up. <laughs> <laughs> well played. So now, two Georgia boys are covered. Yeah, third is uh, time travel and health regeneration. Time travel and health regeneration. Nice. That's the second one. That's the third. Third one? Who was the second one? Second one was... Invisibility and health regeneration. Oh, what? Do these fuckers talk to each other? Yeah, it was all one big text message. God damn it. So one took what? One. What was the last one? Number number one, time travel, mental telepathy. Got it. Number two, invisibility, health regeneration. Uh-huh. Number three, time travel, health regeneration. Losers. Stop it. They're the best. Georgia boys, you guys are awesome, actually. Yeah. I, you know how I get into it with the, the Georgia Greasers. boys and I get into it with Felicia all the time? Yeah. It's only out of They're love. a fucking rat. Yeah. It's it's that they take your time away from me and I'm jealous of that. You're so jelly. I'm so jelly. <laughs> and I don't think you're ready for it either. I'm not? No. You, do you think you're... I don't think you're ready for this jelly. <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Okay. Is that a superpower? Stupidity? It's like the opposite of intelligence. Be, <laughs> You'd be driving the fucking food truck, dude, over to the Avengers. That's Who wants a sandwich? Peter. <laughs> Peter, come on down. Happy sandwiches. Very, very good choices, Georgia boys. Not as creative as I would like because you guys all overlapped. <laughs> one guy, I don't think they one meant guy just to. took one of each two. I don't think like, they meant to do that. Invisibility. Sounds, oh, time travel. That sounds good. Oh, health chair. Yeah, it's like the Shh, round robin. Move tournament. along. They all. Next is my cousin, Jose Luis. Uh Oh, ready for a sound. Here we go. (laughs) Pinchy crickets. (laughs) I'm getting the hairy eyeball over here. Uh, My cousin, Jose Luis, number one, he has the ability to fly. There's problems with that. Why is that? He doesn't have a cape? Fucking, dude, there's shit in the air that you fly into. Have you ridden your motorcycle and got a bug in your goddamn teeth? You want to fucking fly and fucking get whacked around with fucking particulate in the air? You mean like helicopters? Like a fucking, some, a bird for God's sakes. A pebble, a fucking dust, a fly. Geese? uh, Any of it. Caca, caca. I'm thinking more insects. Like you're flying now. <sighs> Caveat. Quite, mm. Yes, go ahead, sir. You with the arm. Is there a speed? A mi- like, can you hover? Like, levitate and then fly? Or can you only go like a certain speed? I would say levitation is acceptable. Okay, like an overall ability to control your body. Yes. For. To defy gravity in some Yes, some way. defying okay. gravity. Okay. Would you have to wear a helmet and a suit because of this bug factor that I speak of? Uh, I think there is no helmet law, but I would encourage it for sure. You can't be Superman. 
Because you don't have invincibility and no, the ability to fly. You have the ability to fly. So flying into fucking objects would hurt. Would hurt like a motherfucker. It, it would. And I'm talking even little things. Like I said, an insect flying yeah, at 100 miles doing, an hour yeah. is, doesn't feel good. No. It does suck. I've been hit with a bee in my helmet. Oh, it went, I had my visor up and a bee flew in in Prescott in college at 70 miles an hour. A bee flew and it got stuck. Like too bad you guys can't see this, but it got stuck like between my forehead and the helmet. Oh. And I was trying to, I turned my head to right, the side to, to get the bee to get out of my helmet. It was oh. pretty terrifying. And then one time oh, I was out. going down the road, 45 and I had my visor down and somebody flicked a cigarette out the window and it, I could see it. I could still see it end over end, right in the forehead. But I had my helmet on, so it wasn't a big deal. But if you get hit in the hit in the head with the forty five mile per hour cigarette butt, that's lit. It's yeah, not fun. You get burned. And aversion to burning objects was not on the list. Yeah, that was the thing. Flight. I thought about that one. One of my first ones, and I had taken that off the list because of this whole. You got to wear some kind of protective stuff. And how does that affect your ability to fly? Like it's heavier. It's like equipment, right? It's like wearing a backpack is heavier. So wearing an outfit that would not hurt when something hit it would probably have some weight to it. Would you wear one of those helmets that the Olympic bicyclists wear when they're going around the yes, dome? The velodrome with those fuck. Yes. Those, sir. The weird pointy yeah, back the helmets, velodrome. <laughs> the raindrop helmet. God, those the are so helmet. weird looking. They are fucking weird. So and and the Apollo Anton Ono in the speed skating, the, <laughs> yes. this tight one with the, <laughs> That's so strange. Fucking beautiful, though. What do you think about flight? I think it's cool as shit. I'd love to be able to fly. It'd be cool to be like, hey, look at this trick I can do where you're sitting crisscross applesauce and you just start levitating off the ground, start flying around a little bit. But then once again, I'd, I'd overuse it and I'd probably get hurt. Yeah, that problem is if you've had a couple of cocktails and then you'd start flying and then you flew too low into a bus. That Ow, would totally suck. Or power lines. Oh, shoot. Didn't think about that. You know, you yeah, that would be a problem. I just feel like objects in your way would be a problem with flight. Or you're like at a bar. Are oh, you going to drive home? No, I'm going to fly. And then, you know, you know, flying while intoxicated. That's not good. Well, the, the, the advantage to this flight, the way we discuss it, is you can stop on a dime. So you can kind of stop and levitate. So like if you're flying at something, it's not like a plane where you need to fly to have lift. Correct Straight lift. You have this power of generating yes. this anti-gravity, basically. Yes. So it's a much different type than... Bernoulli's principle type flying. Yes. You're welcome. See, remember people are like, I know I'd like educational podcasts, please. Bernoulli is the man. Bernoulli's I knew principle. all about Bernoulli's principle. Well, you went to Amber Bernoulli or not, university. Yeah. Go Eagles. <laughs> there was the an Eagles? eye roll. You guys can't see the eye roll. <laughs> I don't want to talk about him. Uh, that was, I, but I would be concerned I got PTSD about from college. I got, I, I would be concerned about the, um, having a having some drinks and then trying to fly and then your your you know your reaction time is dulled right yeah well you'd be an idiot to drink and fly <laughs> <laughs> but it's not it's not technically illegal well, you can't ride not. a bike home you can drink and ride your bike home you, you cannot get, no i'm saying you get you get busted for right that. that's dumb so, but there is no drinking and there's no anti-flying law so i take advantage of it i might just limp myself home like eh, just kind of float well, the other question is this. Does flying take it out of you like running? See, no one ever talks about, you know, it's just Superman with his fist out in front of him, right? And he's flying. Wouldn't that exert energy? Wouldn't you think you'd be a, whoo, 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 after think, like flying? Because yeah. like, you've done it after running. How the fuck does flying not have an effect on you? Like, remember the flash after like he can only do short spurts or whatever before he has to like recharge. I would think that it would be tiring. Yeah. I feel like it, it'd be a, a a wasted act because the the usage of flight on your calories would be so high. All the flying that I've done, I always need a nap after. I I held her in my nap. My arms are so tired when I'm done, dude. Oh my god! All the I flapping. just flew in from Miami, boy, my arms tired. <laughs> <laughs> boom boom! Take my wife, please. <laughs> okay, so next flight. on the list behind flying is bulletproof. Which is a great coffee, by the way, actually, on, in all honesty. Great. It's really good. Um, bulletproof people, would you like to sponsor the Christopher Peralta and Mark Pohl show? Hells yeah. We'd like to be beer Googled and not con consciously knocked. What would be really cool? Caffeine Consciousness. That would be the name. We'd change our name just for, just for that. Hell yeah, that sounds awesome. Caffeine Consciousness. 
Bullet Google. It's super good, too. Bulletproof Google. It's right up there with Death Wish. That's my two favorite coffees. Bulletproof. Mad props. What do you feel about that? Um, unless you're living in an area where you believe you're going to get shot, um, I, I, I think it's questionable. And as much as I love my cousin, I'm sorry to say it. It is the worst use of a fucking superpower I've ever heard. Well, and okay, wait, true. if you're I'm like in the Army or the Marine Corps... And you're, are you rocket proof? Are you? No, you're bulletproof fucker. Well, lasers, lasers. Uh, I'm sorry. What What if, what if you had a shark with a laser on it? Like you're not grenade proof. You're not IED proof. You're bulletproof. All that is, is bullets. You fucking, you screwed up your own. How about indestructibility? Go, go broader people. See, cousin. So go on, cousin. Go home. Cuz just say indestructibility. Like, your skin cannot be broken. <laughs> Ricky Schroeder's thumb. <laughs> Ricky Schroeder's thumb. Thank, thank you. I don't know, man. Why did I? Why did I choose that one? That hill on which I should die. I I don't know. Hill four. What do you feel about? What do you feel about bulletproofness only? Um, I think it's totally accurate. If you're John Wick, I would totally take that. Right, but I just want indestructible. Couldn't you like get a broader power? Yes, I totally see your point. Absolutely, because like it's he gets knives. Well, you get stabbed. It's not knife proof. True. That's fu- I, I mean, I get it. I would assume that you're. What he means by bulletproof is just like an invincibility of sorts. So maybe yeah. everyone calls it bulletproof. Right, I think like a generic term. So yeah. I'll give your cousin a, a pass on that. Okay, I mean, very nice choice, Cuz. Can I call him Cuz? Sure. Can I call him fucker? Hey. What up, SC? I don't know. That's your that's your boys. Primo. This is what you call him Primo. Primo. Cool, man. Primo. Thanks for the sure. So he chose bulletproofness and uh flight. And flight. Yeah. So he wants to be Superman. Yes. Minus sand. Well, he only has a couple of the superpowers. He chose the he chose the non X-ray, non laser vision. Yes. Okay. His kryptonite is tacos. That that's like everyone's group, <laughs> especially in like this tri-state area. Which he is lives in Los area. Angeles, right? Yes, that's California, the Arizona. Southwest, bitches. Yes. The Southwest does very well with their tacos. He hells yeah, amen. I think I want some tacos now. All can tacos. Drive, can, I, can I ask you to drive me somewhere and then pick me up after because I had a cigar? Tacos. I would love to. I, I'm all hopped up on a cigar. <laughs> yes, I'll take a you to get a taco, bro. you dork. Thanks, Pat. Next on the list, the Honorable Roberto Cardenas. Did Mary have choices? She's she's, she's on going there. to go towards you. Okay, yes. I just want to make sure because senior executive producer Mary. Yes, she's awesome. Yes, she's on. She better be on here. Is this Ricardo Maltabon? Yes, it is. Ricardo, is his superpower the ability to turn his skin into Corinthian leather? Yes, and to make his pecs dance in. Star Trek 2, The Wrath to, to of roll Khan. his tongue? Is that yes. a superpower? Kar- yes, it is. His are to stop time. Stop time. Yes. Freeze. Yes. Okay. He didn't say restart it, so <laughs> I was like, uh We're gonna we're gonna include the ability to restart time. It didn't say for how long to stop right. it. Right, but we also didn't talk how forward and back they can go in time travel. So True. So we're gonna have to give that. I was actually very specific about that because an interesting one. Okay. Ricky Schroeder's thumb. Anything really else on like, stop time? He did. Ricky Schroeder's thumb is like, I stopped time. <laughs> the guy had to, I had to stop the time just for him to catch me. Yes. stick me onto the That's why pad. that scene was in slow motion. It was. And that extended the horridness of my life for an extra three yeah. seconds. Son of a bitch. That horrible ass shit movie. That was at your fucking old house way back in the day. Yeah. Your, your, your old dog was still alive. Yeah, Nina. Nina. Little munchkin. Uh, the second on his list was to read minds. Got it. Telepathy. It's a good one. I love it. I love that one. Stop time and read minds. Yes. So if you had those two superpowers. Yeah. I'm assuming you would, your reading mind superpower would be like your radar all day. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? What are they thinking? So that if they're thinking something ominous, I can stop it with my stop time power. Okay. Would you, or would you stop time and then read minds? I don't, I, I was wondering that. Are they used simultaneously or not? I don't know. It's a good, I was wondering that too. Just curious. I don't know. 
I mean, I think once you stop time, reading the mind would be a fixed thing where it would always be changing if you're fluid, right? It, yeah, if you time. stop time, the thoughts stop too, right? So you can read their mind yeah, at that at moment. At that moment. But then that's it. Right. I would think that you'd want to read the mind for the bad thought and be like, I want to stop you. So you have to stop the time and then interfere. Replace the gun with a fire extinguisher. But then again, then you're messing with the timeline. Technically, you're mm-hmm. not. By stopping time you actually haven't affected any future dynamic. You haven't gone back and changed anything. You're actually changing it at now. What if if the next event was supposed to happen? What if it was destiny? Well, it's supposed to is, well, that's a different conversation because then then that negates the ability. We should, if destiny is to that level, we shouldn't be able to time travel. It shouldn't, the law shouldn't allow it if destiny is a thing because it wouldn't, our dimension wouldn't allow for that, right? Do we need to smoke something other than cigars? Yeah, because I'm not really following. So, let's see. Good thing I don't smoke to that stop, stuff. To stop time. Well, yes. Okay, let's reel it back one hair of a second. Okay. What was your last point? Uh, uh shit. Um, you would affect the future. Yes, the we butterfly would have, oh, effect. what is supposed to happen? Destiny. Yeah, destiny. Well, destiny, then you shouldn't be able to travel in time. You shouldn't be able to travel forward and backward if destiny is that's act, not the. That's absolute. not what we're talking about. We're talking about stopping time. Like you right. said, okay, I'm going to stop time because this guy right. has a gun. Right. He's going to do something bad. Right. Well, I'm going to take the gun and put a paperclip in his hand. Correct. But what happens if that guy with the gun was supposed to kill somebody bad? Right. And that was... Well, now he just doesn't. No shit. But that's, that does change, but that doesn't mean it was destiny for him to kill the bad guy because you already read the guy's mind that he wants to do something bad. Oh, the bad guy. Right. Okay. Right? You read the guy with the gun, you've already read his mind that he wants to do something bad. But what bad. if the bad guy was supposed to live and he was going to have a baby that in 40 years was going to kill, cure some disease? Right, but we didn't say anything about killing the bad guy. We put a paperclip in place of his gun so he can't hurt anybody. Okay. You don't understand my point. I so. did I did I lose you? did I lose myself? Yes. Okay. Do we want to try one more time? Absolutely not. We're not. No. So yes, he was supposed <laughs> to so Well yeah. What a, I, what a, I think you added an extra audience. bad guy in there. Because you were talking about like a guy going after another bad if guy. Somebody's and supposed me, to die. Right. But they don't because you intervened. Right. That person was supposed to die for a reason. Why? Why are you putting because consciousness of, on the future? Why you're 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 assuming that? Wake me up when you're done. No, I'm. Why are you Would assuming it, that he was he was dying for a reason? Because that was that's what's supposed to happen in, in a world why of a predefined destiny. Happen? I don't know. Right. I'm just talking shit. Okay. Okay. So yes, if we had destiny, then we. We shouldn't even have the ability to affect destiny. I mean, she is a stripper after all. Oh, God, she's so hot. <laughs> I'm going to look up first destiny, see what she looks like. That's destiny's child. I'm just going to type in destiny stripper. Don't do it. Striper? S- that's the 80s hair metal band. Second on Roberto's list was to read minds. I already told you that. Okay. Yes. So reading minds and stopping time. Stopping time. I like those two. Very good. Especially if they're lo- used simultaneously. They would be phenomenal. Yeah. I would use them simultaneously. Yeah. I would do this. I would be like, I bet I can guess your name. Stop time. Read the name. Destiny. Go back. How much you want to bet me I know your name? <laughs> $6. Savannah. <laughs> Why? Because you're a stripper. <laughs> and I got a one in three shot. Paprika. <laughs> I love it. Kosher sea salt is my favorite. Oh, Cin- all spice. That, when cinnamon comes, she's like, well, next in the one and two, cinnamon. Cinnamon. <laughs> next up, kosher sea salt. Kosher sea salt, get up on the main stage. Number two in line. It's so terrible <laughs> that that's, that's actually accurate. sadly accurate. Yeah, I like kosher sea Good salt. Good thing I haven't been in a strip club in like 15 years. I know. Allspice is not. I do like uh, clove. <laughs> Garlic clove? Okay, let's get off this shit show. Next on the list is the Honorable Abel, the movie psycho guy. 
Yes. He has flight and invisibility. I'm hoping he's using those together as well. Yes. So they so will be can... in flight floppage. There will <laughs> there'll be in flight floppage and maybe fucking uh, Wonder Woman be riding him. And oh hell this. yeah. Because it's like it's like her invisible jet. Yeah. So you just, just have like ride you'll right just up see on that. Wonder Woman going through the sky. Yeah, like oh oh <laughs> straddle she just has her legs spread straddled, like oh with her hands up in the air and boobies jiggling. Yeah, but well, both of them are getting hit by bugs. Yes. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. That's not good. No, well she does have an invisible windshield on her invisible jet. Oh, they which, have to be in the jet. No, no. He's the jet. Right, but wouldn't they him. both be getting hit by bugs? They would because she doesn't. He doesn't have a natural windshield. Right, yes, that's. I agree with you. I was just agreeing with bugs you. in the teeth. Te- well, his would be the back of the head because she'd be on top. Yeah, and she'd get them in her teeth and her grill. Ooh, all, all up, up in, in the her, face. Yeah, her boobies would get like nicked. <laughs> you get nipple nickage. Have you ever seen a nicked nipple? I've not seen a nicked nipple. Don't I see one cut off? Don't before. beer Google that either. I'm not going to do that. Don't do it. I promise. Okay, so those are. Uh, yeah, those are excellent choices. Uh, next up, I've kind of covered the the cons. Yes, we have a super strength. Oh, that's a good one. I don't have a con to that, other than you don't have touch. Would you lose touch? When I do, t- would you lose touch? Hey, like, no touching. Uh, no touching. T bone. T bone. <laughs> An ice cream I don't. Sandwich. I don't think. I don't. Why would you lose touching if you gain strength? Because sensitivity towards your stimulus. Okay. So, have you ever tried driving with your left foot instead of your right foot at all? N- no. You have zero touch because you're not used to the feel y- of y- of of like your right foot is used to the pedal. Yeah. Right. So, if you gain this strength, super strength. Do you lose the minutia of sensitivity to like hold an egg without smashing it? Like, oh, would now you get used I to understand. It? Does that make sense? Okay, yes. I never explained things correctly. Yeah, all you had to say I, was, hey, dude, moron. if you hold an egg, would you crush it? Okay. Now I get it. Yes. Uh, if it's not hard boiled, I think it could be an issue. Okay. That's my concern is that you couldn't do fine tune things, you couldn't do surgery. Right. You couldn't be a watchmaker or, or a, a candle watch repairman. Stick thing. No, you can bang out a candlestick with your fucking <laughs> massive strength. Just grab that hammer and a little fucking piece of steel, John Henry, and just Boom. fucking bam. But um, but you understand what I'm saying? Or does that come over time, like touch? You I, get used yeah, to like, I think you well, would, I know what strength is like. So they wouldn't know their own strength at first. Literally. And then you would then, as time goes on, learn how to make an omelet. Are you born with this power, or do no? You it's acquired it? at twenty six point six years. I don't of like age. that. If you're born with it, you're danger. You're a danger to yourself, your children, your parents, your siblings. You fucking probably killed three children, uh, three brothers and sisters. Don't you think you could have hurt life. your mother in the womb? Ripped. Yeah, you ripped her vagina wide open when you grabbed that's it. That's not a good visual. No, that's, I don't even want to no. drink blood, dude. Bro, nothing happened there. He. It's. It's a super strength baby that doesn't have like thought to do anything. It just wiggles around. It didn't, it doesn't grab yet. It could rip, it rips off your father's arm or hand finger the first time it grabs it. You yeah. Know that one. Yeah. Clean off. What about a thumb? Yeah. Same thing, but no, but not Ricky's. It's, <laughs> just it's been shaking. used. I just ensuring. Now, would Ricky's other thumb, the one still attached it, to him, it, does that one work as well? Or was it just the singular thumb? It had to be the right thumb. Had to be the correct thumb. Correct. And the right thumb. I think it, it was. They had to be the right, right thumb. And the right thumb. The yes. correct right thumb. <laughs> the right one and the right one. Oh, God, we're just beating that thumb. Okay, death. super strength. The second on that list was flying. Okay, so fly- now this one makes sense. So bugs probably wouldn't hurt with super strength. So you get hit in the face. You might get some bugs you're in your teeth. You're strong. It doesn't mean you're invincible. No, but you're being convenient. But I think you'd be a tough guy, too. If you're strong, you're also tough. This came from a lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, a woman. A woman. Whoa. She, does she want super strength because she's wimpy girl? No, she's not at all. Is she like olive oil or is she like... Uh, no, British, she's not British, like... Gisk, gisk, gisk. Neither. She's in the middle. Is this Felicia? No. Oh, man, it's about to have it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, Felicia, you and I hope I'm cool with you, although you hate... Does she still hate Checkmark? Yeah. I haven't uh, talked to her in all. like two weeks. I don't know. Oh, we've had a couple since. Maybe, I maybe I, I haven't got a fucking fresh report, dude. Maybe they've changed. Yes, she's def she loves checkmark. Felicia. Her maybe, new favorite character. Maybe your new friend could be a checkmark. Yes. Steven. Steven. 
Steven. Steven. Steven, I, I, you and I are friends. Yes. I can be friends with Foley Show. It's no, no agenda. I concur. I agree. We can all be friends. We yes. all are. Yes. So, what witty, are your thoughts on much. strength and flight? Uh, I dig it. All right. Weightlifting, flying. Yeah, you can. You can zip over to the gym. I like it. Throw some iron around. Throw some of that fucking yes. steel around. All right, what's next? I asked uh, their eight-year-old daughter as well. Oh, no, I love the Out of the Mouths of Babe. <laughs> Let me see. Boy or girl? Girl. Invisibility? No. Speed? No. I'm out. Flying? Damn it. It's super strength? Nope. Just like her mommy. No. Her mammy? No. Okay, just... just Quote, unquote... Super jump. <laughs> um, so she said, "I love eight-year-olds." It's just like I also I, hate eight-year-olds because if you can fly, super jumping is not required. Well, I'm just saying that's what she said. I love it. I was like, "All right, I'm putting it down." I think the super jump is an awesome super. I was like, "Cool, kid. Whatever you say, girl." <laughs> what is the ini- the first initial of this person? This, uh, this daughter. Crap. J. No. L. Oh, uh, shit. P. S. I think it's an A. A. Good choice. It is. A. I love, air quotes, super jump. Yeah. A, for real, super jump. <laughs> it's like, okay, cool. Good for you. This is why women aren't in science, bro. <laughs> she, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Eight, I'm kidding, bro. I made a fucking I don't think she joke. has all her teeth Jesus. yet. <laughs> no, she lost some. Just hadn't gotten Correct. back. Correct. Her mother is the one that said this super strength in the flying. Her father said time travel and super strength. That, those are both excellent. Her I'm father, covering. I'm sorry, her uncle. What about her Maja? And her Maja. Uh, her uncle said invisibility and shape shifting. That's a good one. Yeah. Question. Yes, sir. You check mark. Shape shifting to any size. To any person. Would it change the density of the said shape? So if if I had to take my 200 and X pound frame yeah. and put it into literally into a five pound bag, I'd be a dense fucking five no. pound bag, right? I'd still weigh 200 and some pounds, but just take the shape of whatever I... No, you would... It would be just like... The, so I can manipulate it my It would be just like the blue well. chick in X-Men. For What's her name? Rogue? No. Yeah. Uh, Rogue. The blue Rogue, chick. Yeah. Mystique. Mystique. Thank you. Yeah. It'd be just like that. She can be any person. Yeah, but, okay. But shape-shifting into an animal or some other thing. Do you see where shape-shifting can be bigger? Yes. So can it shape-shift, for example, I'm just asking, into like a domestic cat. Yeah. Why would you want to be a fucking cat? You wouldn't want to. No, But I think she did. I think Mystique turned into a cat and jumped into a window one time. I, um, Marvel World, please, please correct me. I'm sure I'm wrong, but I think that happened once. That that was my question though. Can you do that, or is it more just the general shape of a human? I, how would you like that question answered? I believe we run into physics issues. So if you're going to cram twenty pounds of shit in a five pound bag, it's just a twenty pound, five pound sized bag of shit. So I think you could be a cat, but you'd be a two hundred pound cat. Okay, that's dumb. So you'd be really dense. So your, I understand. your mo- molecules would just have the to be mass, really packed I on top of each other. I don't know how that would work. So I don't think you should be able to do Why it. Why are you applying laws of physics to a conversation about humans that are going to get that radiated? the laws of physics? <laughs> <laughs> this conversation is not about physics, bro. Well, you have to defy the physics to have no, a superpower. Okay. Your superpower is shape-shifting. And this shape-shifting allows you to be any human being at any size, regardless of mass, you don't carry the mass with you. I think I think he wants it to be anything, any size. I don't know what he said. I'm just I'm just I'm, I'm speaking I'm, on his behalf. I know, and I'm countering on his behalf. You and I are having words. Many, the, <laughs> many of the words. The uh, thou of other syllables. <laughs> All right. So shape shifting. What do you think about shape shifting? I think it's fucking badass it's rad, right? i was super like dude that's a great answer what would you what would be your first person you'd impersonate oh god playmate of the year play with yourself the whole time yeah or would you would you shapeshift into like brad pitt and just get women 
You know what I'm saying? Could I time travel to when Brad Pitt was younger and well, then be you Brad Pitt? Shift into young Brad Pitt. Why wouldn't you just shape shift? Uh, I hadn't. I don't know, dude. I hadn't thought about it. Um, it's not time travel. You're just shape shifting into a non crow's feeded Brad Pitt. It's not that crow's feeded, crow's footed, crow's foot, fi, fi, feti, <laughs> pre i. Uh, I don't know, man. Um, who's the first person I would shape shift into? Mine would be like Notorious B.I.G. or Tupac and be like, I'm still alive, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's or awesome. I probably would, okay, I think this is what would happen. I'd be the, I'd be the Notorious one first. I'd be like, I'll put all the NY on the BKNY. I'm still alive, bitches. And then 10 minutes later, shape shift to Tupac and be like, me too. And fucking just run that shit. All the Elvis fucking coming out of nowhere. I, you'd have sightings of fucking JFK and fucking just. I'd fuck with people all day. That's, I'm sorry, you didn't answer. That was pretty amazing, dude. I mean, I didn't really think about it. I would think maybe I would go back, use time travel to time and space travel. <laughs> that's two. You that's used that's two up, and bro. one. You used them up. Shit. I mean, it. Look. Einstein did call okay. it space time. Okay. So if you want to do space time manipulation, I will count it as one. So we might be able to get around. Okay. That. So I would space time manipulation manipulate. Sure. And to go to um, prohibition, ancient Egypt as Mark Antony, not Cleopatra. S- yeah. So I could see what it was like to be an ancient Roman general. And hang out with Cleopatra, the qu- the queen god of ancient Egypt. That would be sick. That would be sick. That would be an Because awesome you get one. two cultures in one. You get ancient yeah. Rome and ancient Egypt. Right. I didn't take the time travel into it because I was just using shape-shifting now. Yeah. I understand. Would you impersonate, like, obviously it would be treasonous in my opinion if it was, like, the president or somebody. Impersonating president, I think, is a treasonous act, right? Shh, I don't. You, I, let's I just guess. say yes. I would guess. I'm just going <laughs> to guess that it is. So that would be off the tape. But what would I do? Would I would you do? time travel back to like the well, Vietnam I don't time, have the time travel and be yet. president? I only okay. have the shape shifting ability. Right? Okay, I was only so present you, day shape shifting. You combine and you went, I crossed, you went big. All the streams. I fucking want to be like Tutankhamen for a day and just see what that fucking oh, like. Shit, Everybody's to waiting on your hand and feet, it, like being seeing the built. pyramids being built. I mean, I would, well, I'd go to every era, though. I'd go to every single worshipping, like, yeah, issue I, where I would there was wanna, a god. You I know, would want to go to the Mayan Empire. Mayans. I'd, yeah. I'd want Aztec. I'd want to hit them all. Yeah. I mean, get, should Vikings. I go to Stonehenge in the beginning? Like, yeah. I don't know, like, who's the head priest or priestess? Yeah. Who knows? Like, when it was all, like, pagan and shit, I'd love to go back. Fucking, I'd love to be Caesar for a fucking day. I mean, if Which we got one? time, if we got time and shape shifting, but I think if I could just shape shift, like in today's world, I think I just fuck with people. Like everybody who had a conspiracy theory about that person being dead, I'd show up as that person. Maybe out just outside their window, just a little, and then duck away and then disappear. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't do that so much. You do like something meaningful with it. Uh, no, I'd have some fun. Would you like go into banks and be like the represent like the owner or the the bank no. manager take money out? Or, Hell no! How would you get I want, foreign want, fame and fortune? I would want nothing to do with banks. Okay, well, I think a lot. Of it would be would. fun to recreate Point Break though, and to wear the president mask. You wouldn't have to, right? You I just shape shift with it. I'd be like, "Hello, hello. I'm not, I am not a crook. I am a crook. <laughs> I am so a crook." Walk in with a walk in as President Nixon <laughs> with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> with the oh, dual peace fun. signs boom all right so shape shifting yeah what else we got my friend next on the list uh we have a uh, mckenzie like with teleportation which Be- i was like whoa being that's, up scotty that's really cool that's an interesting one because i think that there are two abilities one is the ability to do that and two is the ability to know where it is you're actually going you have to know where you're going to land to be able to go there. So do you remember the show Jumper? Remember the movie Jumper? Yeah, I liked it a lot. 
he had to look at the picture of where he was going to yeah. be before he could just assume, cause you can't assume it. Right. It's like the hyperspace in, uh, in star Trek or star Wars, new hope. The supercomputers got to calculate because you oh, could fly into a star. Right. You could yeah, fly. yeah. Yeah. So if you teleported to the wrong place, if you don't know where you're teleporting. Yeah. She said it has to be known. Places. She goes, if I want to go to lunch in Paris, boom, but you have to know right. you have to have been you. I would put a caveat that you'd have to have physically visited any of the places to which you wanted to teleport and they haven't changed much. Yeah. 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 Cause what if they fucking pulled a chair out at the restaurant, at the cafe where you're going? And it's here, and you teleport into the chair, right? Or That'd be weird, like right? on the corner, and there's somebody standing on the, and you're exactly. in the middle of that person. Boom! Yeah, that would be bad. See, that would not be that. That's where those I know because we talk about like we assume that that part. That's I thought part of it. I was the logical one of this podcast, bro, bro. Not so much. Uh, German. Let's not even talk about the other stuff. But German, I'm pretty much the logical one. I'm I'm logical with rage just underneath the surface. Just but like, I'm like Virgo psycho planner guy. Yeah, but I come up with these thoughts. These are off the cuff, my friend. These I, aren't I even, know. I don't like e- any of your yeah. cuffs. Yours, because yours organized, structured thought. Mine's chaotic streams of consciousness. Chaotic idiocy. They're both stupid, awesome in their own unique ways, but they are very different. The way we, come I to know this, but we come to the very similar conclusions, which is great. It's painful. It's a beautiful thing, man. Second was invisibility. Okay. We've covered that one. Today. If it's clothed. If clothed. She was very against the so F word. She's Sue Storm. She's very against the F she word. She doesn't like boob floppage. She Bob, didn't like, blo- bloppage. she didn't like any floppage. No boobage. Okay. Ooh, let the dogs out. So no she one said, apparently because they're parking downstairs. Is she said if, <laughs> If clothing is not required, she said flying. Okay, cool. Uh, next up, Mr. Simpson, he said reading minds and flying. I think we covered those. Okay, next up is Teresa with invisibility and time travel. Okay, we covered those. Felicia said flying and to be a healer. Invisibility and time travel is an interesting one together. Okay. Let's take a look. It'd be cool to observe. To be invisible and just different, jump somewhere. Just to watch that shit going on around them. Like to literally be the fly in the wall while Mark Anthony and Cleopatra, instead of being the, a first person subject of it, being a third person observer of it would be a lot. I feel safer and obje- like you'd get a bigger view of it, a better overall picture. Yeah, I see your point. Just a thought. So I think those two would be cool together. And reading minds and what was this other one? Uh, Felicia said flying and to be a healer. Oh, a healer. Well, she's going to have to heal herself after flying because all those bugs and shit she's flying <laughs> to do. <laughs> Including yourself. Flying rocks. Including yourself. Yeah, I guess you could heal yourself. Yeah, so that one's like regenerative powers on steroids. Uh, so who the, you fu- could- who the fuck would be Wolverine if... You could heal anything, including yourself. It'd that's, be the same. I like as, that one though. It, right, that's what I'm saying. It's a better option than just having regenerative health. Yeah, is my point because you could be the subject of your healing. You could be the person. You could heal yourself. Yes, by like touching or however it would be done. Yes, I like that. That's a good one. What do you think? I yeah, I, I was I was surprised because nobody else thought of anything like that. So that anything that was no one thought of it outward. Every, the regeneration was inward. Yes, correct. No one thought of. He- Helping, yeah. That's yeah. the first one that actually is out towards others. Yes. Po- that could have a positive effect towards others. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. And it's a woman. Yes. Who came up with that. Well, but that makes sense. No, I told, that's my point. Yeah. It was interesting. It's not interesting. It's very, I'm not shocked at all that it was a, a woman who came up with a brilliant fucking idea and actually cares about people. Yeah. Because men don't generally do that. Yeah, we're selfish pricks. Yeah, pretty much. Obviously. Yep. With floppage. <laughs> With floppage when we're invisible and naked. <laughs> well, you can't see it. You can only... So this ah, is... Ah, la, la, la. Don't do it. This is no, me. No, Don't do it. This is no, me move invisible. It. No, no. Running down the street. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hold no, on. I, Hold on. Oh, you fucking asshole. <laughs> that's me invisible running down the street. That's fucking Was that pretty good? That's I wonder how that's going to turn out on this. It's going to be perfect, you, you it's gonna idiot. Sound. That was fucking hilarious. I'm sorry. That was funny, man. Is is 
comedic ability, a superpower, because I don't have it if it is. You're <laughs> funny, dude. I'm funny, but I'm not like comedically funny. Like su- that would be a superpower, just to have people in stitches all day. Okay, so healing. Ricky Shrews. <laughs> all right. Oh God. We're getting to the end here, bro. Are you gonna be right. okay? I, I think we'll make it. Okay. Next up is the honorable senior executive producer Mary. She said flying. Again with the bugs in the teeth. Also, communication with the dead. That's a good one. Umbrella Academy. But Tell on that show, know. sometimes he can't turn it off. Right. So where's the line of, hey, I want to talk to this person, but not that person. And the controlling of who? Yeah. Because that's a separate gift. I would think you get better at it, but it seems to be they're coming at you. I feel like you'd see it all at the same time. Right. Bombardment. I don't think you could, like, obviously that show is done for effect, right? Like, oh, Of course. Like, he picks his friend or whatever, and he sees dead people here and there. And his brother, Ben. Yeah. Yes. Adopted brother. Yes. Right? Um, that's why I said friend, whatever. But he also has these other people come yes. through. I don't feel like you could filter that. I feel like that would just be a barrage. All of, the time. That would be an issue. Yeah. Because you can't be like, I want to. Um, now, if the control was in like, I want to talk to Joe Johnson. Yes. Who died in 1987. Yes. In, from Poughkeepsie. Right. Poughkeepsie, you know, I don't even know how to fucking spell it, but it there's a like P a cool and an I. A G. I think there's an H in there. Sure. A, C, a couple Q's. S I E. A, K, a Kip. There's a P. Yeah, there's at least two P's. Whatever it takes. Yeah, 313. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's a cool one, though. It is a cool gift. I just don't know if you'd want, I don't know how you'd, if how you would could, you work it? If you could control it, I, and I don't even know, like, but what do the dead know? Do they see other, do they travel over there and tell me what's going on? Like what good does the communicate with the dead? Or do, do? you ask them, Hey grandma, why you did you, why did this happen? Or, Hey, what was it like when you were a kid? Or can you talk to somebody from the French revolution? Tell me what it was like when Louis the 16th, blah, blah, blah. Or but, is but there are books written about that? I would right, assume, but right? you, but you get a personal account from somebody that was standing there when his head was coming off the guillotine. Right. Or. So it'd be like a dire personal You diary. talk to Gus Grissom and say, hey man, what was really true with Apollo 1? But then again, there's a bunch of evil people too that you don't want to talk to. Right. Like, And even then, like, do you really want to, I don't know if I'd want Gus Grissom to relive that. And I don't know if living's the right thing, but I don't want him to re-experience that tragic event ever again. Maybe Gus Grissom really needs somebody to talk to. Maybe, but not that fucking event. I mean, that event. I oh can't yeah, imagine. Well, you don't you don't ask him about the fire. You right. ask him about, hey man, did NASA really suck? Were you really worried? You know, you don't. He was. You tiptoe yeah. around. That's true. You know, you don't say unless he brings it up. Right. I mean, it's a cool gift, but it's not very. It do, it doesn't it. It helps with your curiosity of the world because you could talk to anyone. Yeah. About their time. All the apostles. But like, to what good does that do you? Like what? How? Knowledge. It doesn't do yeah, any just, good. Yeah, it doesn't do any knowledge. good at all. But knowledge. I mean, it would be neat to be like, you drown on the Titanic. Right. Yes. Like, did it break in half the way the, does this picture, is this video correct of how it broke or was it this way? Or, or what? That'd be There's real, so that many would be historical so cool. events. It'd be, it'd be a cool fucking superpower to have. All the presidents. You know, it would be really cool because you, once again, having the superpower, you could utilize it for good in that you could monetize it and then use that money for charity. Yeah. Because you, sh- if you had that gift, that is a priceless gift. People would pay yeah. to get to know that, to know that they're talking to their lost relative. Yeah. To know that they're talking to right. X, Y, or Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a way to, but that would be a very monetizing, but then you could do good with the money. Yeah. Like you could, you could help charities and whatnot. So right. that'd be a really good way to use your superpower for good. I like that one. Or you could find out how did they really build the pyramids? Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's, I mean, like you said, myriad questions. Yes. So more than 10,000. Yeah. Still. Uh, yeah. A myriad of 10,000. 
It's just myriad questions. Yes. That's it's not okay. myriad of man. All that. Don't do it. Okay. It's not as per. It's per. Don't, okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm done. I need to go now. Now. Okay. okay last so on the list besides us. Yes. Besides us. Fuck us. Mr. I mean, Steve Miller. Fuck Chris. And he had I one that blew my mind. Is it the ability to blow people's minds? No. Damn it. Touch someone and get their powers. Motherfucker stole mine, you dickhead! <laughs> Fuck! Fuck you, Steve. You and me. Fuck Felicia. Felicia, you're, you're, you get a hall pass. Steve and I are at it now. You motherfucker. That was, that was my fucking power. Sorry, but there's bro. caveats to it. You okay. can only like, it's a one use thing and then you have to re get another power. So you, you use it reason. one time and it goes away? Right, correct. Not like on Heroes when you always have it? You don't always have it. He does lose it. Oh, no. he does? Yes. I Peter, didn't know Peter that. Peter Petreri. Peter Petreri. I thought, the, I thought the evil guy on Heroes always got, always. Yes. He absorbed that, it and then he always had it. He never actually. He, remember he was a watchmaker? Yeah. I think he took it out of the brain and put it into his. Remember how he was like a fine Tuned. I don't remember the brain part. I only saw season one. We need to watch that. It's a good show. But my point is, <laughs> he didn't do. He didn't acquire the superpower by having them. He took them from people, not by absorbing he didn't them. Touch them. He cut them open and oh. figured out how they made it work, and then made it work. He actually dissected. Like he actually got into, literally got into how the mechanism of the brain work to get the superpower. In my opinion, that's how I felt. That's what he did? Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, he cut people's skulls off. He was, I didn't even know when that. When he started having telekinesis powers, he cut their skull open right with oh, his finger. Oh, that I do remember. Drawing, he cut okay. it open. Because then he popped the top and he then go the in top. there. See what, oh, that's flight. Oh, that was, I. that's my understanding oh, of how shit. it was. Oh, shit, okay. Maybe I misunderstood that, but that's the way I felt. You However, Peter Petrelli did the uh, the good guy. Oh, could gra- touch someone. That, the the politician, not the politician. The politician's son, the politician's or brother? brother. Okay, the, uh, yeah. The woman's had two sons. One was a politician the who could fly. Kid, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And you didn't know if he could fly until later. Right. That was not Peter. The other Peter Petrelli is the the guy. The, the guy from This kid. Is Us. The guys in I this didn't is watch us. that. It doesn't matter. Everyone else saw it. Trust me. I know. I don't watch it. TV, dude. It's okay. People who saw This Is Us, the father in that is Peter Petrelli. Okay. He touched great. you, got that ability one time, like one time. A one time It was usage. like the rogue thing in X-Men. Remember, she gets it for either a lapse of mirror, a time or a use. Oh, while well, she's holding you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. She draws your power. Right. Okay. Steve, man, you are a G- He's the surgeon, isn't he? Probably. See the doctor? No, Steve. Is Steve? No, he's a oh. building engineer. Oh, that's Chris. Yes, Chris Brooks Sorry. is the surgeon. Engineer? Yeah. Just like an engineer, Steve. You and I thinking alike, bro. I'm bro. not an engineer, though, so I guess we're not thinking You should alike. be. I love that answer. Blew your mind, though, didn't it? Yeah, I was like, son of a bitch. Yeah, so mine, the thing is, yeah, there's a challenge to that, and that is the problem. It only works if you know the other person has a superpower and what it is and if you want it. Yes, correct. And you kind of still have to touch. I wonder if you can absorb it or if you have to touch them to get it. There's a couple, like, I wonder if I and can be within 10 know, feet and yeah. absorb it. You don't know what it is, and you touch them and go, fuck, and I don't want right. it. Right. Well, then you burn it off, and then you're back to zero. How do you burn it off? You just use it. Whatever oh. the, I don't know what the power, whatever the power is. I would assume you take it, then when you take it, now you are aware of what it is, and then use it. Or you already know. Like, if I know that. The, like, you're spying on them. What I do is I create a meetup group for superpower. Oh, Okay. And I just know who's what superpower okay, and then use them as okay. I need. Yeah, like, spreadsheet. I need st- extra strength because I need to get this bottle, this pickle uh, jar. Ca- I you need to open the pickle jar. That's exactly of right. And through the knees and eh, just be sensitive and don't crush the egg. Yeah, but not yeah. super superpower. Right, just superpower, not just super power, super power. Yeah, extra power. Right. So that one, that one blew your mind. Yeah. So how do you see it? Do you see it for an elapsed period of time, or one use, or unlimited until they gra- till they get a different superpower? Uh, I thought it was like Deadpool in the Wolverine when he just absorbs the power and next thing you know, he's got 10 powers. Right. That's how I assumed. 
Okay. I didn't think about the heroes part. I forgot that that was one of the characters altogether until right. just now. Okay. So that that's the thing is. So do you think the thing is though we have to put limits on this cuz No, we don't. A superpower can't be I can absorb every fucking other superpower and have them as mine. Why not? Isn't that's that like, what that's the like bad the, guy in Heroes did? No, that's but he manually did it. That's a different that's not a superpower. He just uses intellect to figure out how the brain worked to do those superpowers. He didn't actually have the power to absorb. Did he have any powers? Not initially. No, that's he had what, zero powers. That's my understanding. Of okay. It. Yeah, and that's how he cut the first guy open and figured out he had power. I think it was telekinesis or something. Okay. And, and then it grew. As he killed he had to kill them to figure out how they worked to use the, to gain those powers. Okay. So it, it he didn't just absorb them. And that's the thing. See, to me, that's the you have three wishes from a genie and yeah. is wishing for more wishes. Saying the ability to absorb everyone's superpower is like wishing for more wishes. Uh, that's what I would do. That's a lame, I know, I know, but that's a lame-o. This, this is, has to have limits, my friend. No. Lame-o. Uh, can I wish lame for more superpowers? Hyphen O. My superpower is more wishes. Well, no, your superpower is absorbing all the other superpowers. Now you have everyone. You yeah. don't even need to worry about it. That's a bullshit superpower, bro. You yeah, can't wish for I'm more Superman wishes. with no kryptonite. Whoa, I'm all kryptonite with so no <laughs> Superman. So how do you like that? You're a, you're a green rock. I'm just a green rock. That's weird. Okay. Is it because I'm not right okay. yet? So. Okay, so. Be, wh- what, is you, what is your limitation? Go. I think we need to figure it out. Five minute time limit. One use or until you absorb another superpower. One use. Boom. Perfect. So you can absorb as many as you want. So example, I get the ability, I absorb the ability to fly. I can fly, but once I land my feet on the ground, I cannot fly again. Correct. But until that point, I'm all good. And, and you use. can absorb as many as you want. So you can have 12 powers. Oh, you can. Abs- oh, no, I don't believe it. You can I have have 12, one power. You can have 12 powers. One power because we are limited to two powers. No, but this power is you can absorb other powers. Dude, we're not doing it, bro. I'm just, I'm throwing. <laughs> I'm throwing a yellow flight, right? 10 flight? yards. Yellow card. Cross checking. So I'm writing you on the back. Two minutes. First down. I jot your name on the back of the yellow card. So uh, I'm putting I'm back really, the pocket. I'm really, I'm really, uh, go sports. We have said the caveat is two powers. Therefore, absorption of power, you can only absorb one superpower. So you can absorb two powers based upon the rule. No, because you have a second power. Remember, we haven't taught, you have two superpowers. No, it's he. He only stated one. Oh, okay. So he can absorb two, any two powers. Okay. That he know, yeah. That he, but he has to be within the vicinity to absorb them. He said he has to touch somebody and then use them once. Yeah. Wow, touch is even worse. Okay, that's harder. He just Good goes luck, bro. Yeah, yeah. Come, come within five feet, bro. He's a sneaky well, you, little guy. You can do it. I mean, you just did it. So it's, <laughs> you're, like, you're like, I just kicked you, bro. Yeah, I just touched you with my flip flop or my flop bro, flip. Flop flip. Flop flip. Is that a superpower? The ability to say flop flip? Yes. Sweet. <laughs> you need a cape and a theme song. I do. Believe it or not, Chris and Mark are right here. <laughs> we are talking on the podcast Cast. right now. It's the Beer Googles about superpowers. Where could we be? Believe it or not, we're at the podcast studio. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm Queen. I'm Queen Victoria in my parade. I was Queen. Okay. So he now can. Forest. Ab- so he can absorb two by touching. Okay. No touching. Yeah. But, but He's not in the jail. To touch. Not in the jail. He can't get hey, any superpowers because no touching. Yes. So he's allowed to absorb two powers. Because his one power is to absorb powers. Yes. Yep. And then he gets to use each one once. So if he abuses it one, he can touch somebody else and give and get another one. And keep okay. that original okay. one as well. Yeah, I think that's a good way to do it. I'm it's glad like those that we balls came to this the click dumb clacks. fictional agreement. You take this one, knock this one out. I understand. This one's gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. The balls. So, the balls. All right. Well, um, is it your turn? Yeah, I, I'm. I, mine suck. Yours? I bet yours don't suck. I got time travel and to read minds. Okay, well, let's. Can you expand a little bit on your time? Well, first I had invisibility, but that's kind of boring. So I was like, move along. And then, uh, any limitations to your time travel? Uh, just on the planet, you forward and backward through time. 
Okay. I, I think we should change the space time travel. I think we're okay. okay with that. I feel okay with that. Okay. Because I would really love to see how. But then again, you'd still need to know where and when. Well, I am I am one of the jumpers, so I do have a room with all the pictures. Okay, so, so that have, one's okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, so you need to have that. That does need to be a limitation. Yeah. But see, that's different because that's only space. How do you know that that place wasn't covered in lava 100,000 years ago when you want to go back there? Yeah, I don't. Do you see what I'm Do you see that little snag to the plan? It's like, yeah, I know I want to go to Egypt, but if I go 10 years early, I'm drowning. Then can't you just jump back? You're going to show up in lava. Oh, drowning in lava, not well, drowning. Like, well, I'm just... Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, okay. Um, but what if you're 100 feet underwater? How you're going to change while you still have air in your lungs? You jump back the- before he's drowned. Okay. Don't panic or anything. You're going to be Yeah, no fine. panic. Yeah, you're going to be 100 feet underwater and just... Your ears yeah. will initially explode, right? Oh, that would suck. Because you're under atmospheres and you didn't oh, pressurize. Yeah, I didn't think about that. See, I'm just... This is one of those challenges. I would make it a double superpower where the superpower would be, I know where and when I know what is going on, where and when I want to go and I can get there. But it's kind of lame though, right? Because it's really only one power. Ricky Schroeder's thought. I really don't like the fact that, that I busted your nut. Yeah. Wait, that sounded awful. Um, I, I, I don't like the fact that I'm being out logic because <laughs> I'm always the logical one. And now I'm like, think you are, well, this but... is bullshit. I, I quit. I'm out of here. This is dumb. All right. Well, I've got two superpowers. Tell me your fucking powers. Do you want to talk about me reading minds or not? I don't want to read your mind. No, you don't want to read my mind. <laughs> it's all filth up there. It's dirty. So my first power is the ability to absorb another's power. Just one? Just one. Until I have you a use second, it. Right. And then I have a second power. Go. The ability to go backwards in time up to one minute. But not... And then relive that minute? Yeah. But not forward, just backward. Just backward. Why? One minute, I think, is enough time if there was something going on that I could solve it. So. Like vanilla ice? Nuclear. Like, okay, so there's, there say there's a bomb in a building and it's about to go off. And, or, and I don't know about it. I now know it goes off. I can go back a minute and keep going back multiple times to find. Multiple minutes. Yeah. I don't go back multiple minutes, but I go back a minute every time. Multiple one minute jumps. So, yeah. So like say I can do that, but then I also, I can absorb another power. So say it's like, I might need flight to get up there to grab something, or I might need to read someone's mind to see who they're going to shoot first, or I need, you know, do that kind of stuff. Okay. So the ability to go back in time, just up to a minute is all I need. Cause it's okay. enough to change, to make change. I dig that. That's good, dude. Yeah. Plus, you know where it's at. Like a minute, you nothing's changed to the point where you it's unstable. You knew where you were a right. minute ago. Shit, a year ago could have changed, right? Oh you yeah. Could yeah. Have construction. Oh in yeah. A yeah. place that you teleport to, right? That doesn't really do you any good. So it, it, it to me, I was trying to be practical with mine a little bit more practical by saying that's you dumb. Know, Don't be practical. I know, but because it's a superpower, I should fucking just go balls. Enough out. safe and sane. It's time for dumb and dangerous. I know, but uh, absorbing other people's power. But see, my, my absorbing of their power takes their power away until I use it. Oh. that's You have all kinds of asterisks next to yours. Yeah, it's, it's like Roger Maris. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this this season's baseball. It's like 2020 season. everything. It's 2020 everything. It's not just Asterisk. baseball. Welcome to Asterix Podcast, everyone. <laughs> it's all the sports. It's all the everythings, dude. So it's fun. It's fun to get like, it's funny how in, invisibility flight. So did you have to take a poll? I guess flight was number one. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to go through having to figure it out, then but it's not, but I heard flight a lot. Yeah. I heard invisibility a lot. Yeah. Those are top two strength. I heard probably third and then my, there's a lot of mind reading yeah. type stuff. Yes. Kind of cool. It'd be cool to have, to know the future, to know the future, not necessarily be able to travel there, but to see the future. 
would be cool. Because uh, you can then affect it. The curiosity it factor is obviously huge, but... But they also want to see the past. Because that's a curiosity factor, really. Of course. We, historians talk and yeah, in nauseam about this is the way they did it. And you're like, well, was it? Right. It's a good, it's a good point. Anyway, sorry. No, don't apologize. Please proceed. I, I clap you, sir. Good choices, I have the bro. Clap. I like your choices, bro. Don't, you don't have the clap. Reading minds. Yeah. And time travel. Time, tra- time travel is the best one. Do you, do you have an idea that we can travel back in time eventually? Will we be able to do that? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe that if we are able to do that and we can change something in the past, do you think that would affect the future or would it create a different future? This time is still the same. This is probably its own podcast. You think? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I think that, that if you change that. something in the past, it's going to affect the f- huge can of worms. Them can of worms there's a can Pandora's of worms box. in the can of worms <laughs> um, uh yeah i think that that's uh i i do that it would makes the butterfly effect makes sense if you do one thing different in the past that's going to have a ripple effect right doesn't that seem logical mr logic not in the quantum world oh fuck you because in the quantum world, everything has to happen. So not only are you and I sitting here having this conversation right now, but we're also standing in another dimension with microphones that are higher. And in another one, we're hanging out on the, you're on the couch and I'm on the chair. Another one, I'm lying on the floor and you're in a chair. So there's an infinite number of possibilities. Yeah, it's Or I have I, hair and I live in Vermont. Right. And the more I think about it, the more I think about it is a change in... Going back, if we could go back in time to make a change at that point, what it still exists, this conti- this time from which you left continues on its path. That you're just affecting a, a different timeline that you're already exists, branching off a new t- a new a new uh, branch. Uh, yeah, yeah. But there's an infinite number you're branching off a new exit. But there's an infinite number, so it doesn't even really matter. Right. There should be an infinite, technically. Technically, it's infinite. It's like so. There's an infinite wow. number of me's doing an infinite number of things in the quantum world. So in going, the quantum world. So going back in time, say, say, I got shot, and you go back in time to prevent my shooting. In this timeline that you left, still dead, still already happened, fixed. However, where you saved me branches off a new timeline, and that that's a new life. See, that would make a lot of sense. Unless you use my cousin's bulletproof super pile. <laughs> super pile? Super power. Super, <laughs> super pile driver. Boom. <laughs> Wrestling. Hashtag WWE. <laughs> what do you think about that thing I showed you? It's pretty cool what they did, right? I don't like the fact that hashtag WWE is the most popular pound sign. Oh. Well, I think the most popular pound sign is the one that's on your scale. <laughs> Good thing there's no battery in my scale. It's lb. L- lb. The LBs? Yeah, where the... Where? I know it came from something. It's fucking Latin, isn't it? Lb. Pound? I don't want to, no, the LB. What is... Where the LB... Why is LB pound? I don't know. That's my point. See, this is why we need more beer Googles. We need more beers. And more Googles. And Googles. And once again, this has been another episode of the delicious beer Googles. Mm, beer Googles. Double E. Double O. Double G. Hey, now. And this has been superpowers. That's been fun. Hey, That's leave fun. a comment and tell us what you want your superpowers to be. Yes, tell us what you want our superpowers to be. I would like invisibility and the lack of floppage. I was just going to gonna say superpower. floppage or no floppage. You, you be what? the judge. I want the underside of my scrotum to no. be double sided tape. Oh, dude, That's the superpower. It just sticks to the taint and just stays tucked under. Shut up! Stop aerodynamic, talking. And now I can be invisible. No, and it's naked. Scrotal. Don't get kicked there. Shh. Da, did it? Zip it, up, zip it, zip it oh, shoot the glass. <laughs> Any final thoughts, sir, while we, while no, we get out of here? man. Man, today's been a lot of fun. Totes my goats. Uh, thank you so Except much. Except for my cigar high. You know, I'm going to shout out some people. Sure. I would like to give a shout out to a couple friends who have been listening to us for a very long time. I'm not going to call them friends. They just seem like cool people. Um, Tatiana, welcome. Hola. You are here. Welcome. And Elisa. Chile. Those are two. 
and then we'll go forward from there. Yes. See, we got a couple people that are that are saying hi every once in a while, but please rate us, review us, beer googles us, subscribe, subscribe, download, download, all rate. that stuff, rape us. No, don't do that. Rate. I'm sorry. Rate. 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 Not rape. Oh Dude, my God. what's wrong with you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day, man. We're like, we're like over four. We're good four hours and change right now for the day. We always do that. I know. It's a time warp. We should have called it a time fucking time warp. warp. Don't go one minute back. It's, go this is why hours. it's not our goddamn superpower because we cannot go. We just go forward in time yeah, a lot. I know. That's our superpower. We go forward in time. A lot. It's you look disgusting. at the clock and you're like, how the fuck is it four hours later? It's not a superpower. It's like a negative superpower. All right. Well, with that, sir, you have yourself a great evening. True champion. Peace out. Two tambourines to you as well. <laughs> beer Googles, Beer Googles, Beer Googles, Beer Googles. Bye. Conscious.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Flibbity Flop, Flobbity Flib, Rajesh Kuthrapali, you name it. Have a good night, everybody.